Morning everyone. Today we're going to be talking about another very very exciting species. Now this is one of those that it's really more popular up on our KZN coast and not as much down south. It doesn't really like the cold water so it's really more of a tropical subtropical more temperate kind of species. What we're talking about is the southern pompano. So that's otherwise known as Trachinotus africanus. Um, in terms of looks you've got a silver fish yellow tinges on the fins <clears throat> very very uh, large powerful powerful tail um, quite a, a stumpy kind of looking fish he's got elongated body but a very very rounded head um, got the the molars in the back of the throat for for crushing things you've got a fairly soft mouth on the outside and then quite a large eye um, Obviously the large eye helps facilitate hunting in very clear water. Um, now when you say hunting, we're talking about hunting crabs, shrimps, that kind of thing. Which moves us on to the dice. Now, your southern pompano likes any crustaceans. So now we're talking crabs, we're talking shrimps, we're talking cracker shrimps, um, crayfish, anything like that, that it can, that's got a hard exoskeleton, nice juicy meat on the inside. Um, also they like your squids, any of that kind of thing, squids, octopus, like that, but it's not really going to be able to take out a whole octopus, that's not really what it's, what it's designed to do. So it's really more rooting your mussels, crabs, that kind of thing, hard shells, crushing it in and, and eating the insides. Now, we get them from sort of the Western Cape all the way up to, to Mozambique and really Nisner is kind of the lowest we get them on the south but that is really pushing it down south, they're not common down that side. Um, quite a summer species, um, going to really be associated with your sandy beaches but somewhere near Rocky Reef so your probably the biggest component of its diet beyond crabs um, is actually mussels. They are prolific mussel eaters. They really hunt on where well you get, especially up on the northern coast, where you get the, the rocky ledges and then at high tide they those ledges are underwater and that's really where the mussels are and you'll get your, your pompano just cruising along there just crushing all those mussels and eating the delicious insides. Um, if you have ever gutted one you'll find they're normally full of mussel shells and bits and things like that so similar to a stumpy they really 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 do enjoy mussel and that's one of the best baits for them. Now in terms of size wise you're getting your average fish is going to be between say a kilo up to about five kilos and specimens have gone up all the way to about 25 kilos thereabouts so that's that's a, that's a big fish and that would normally be after about say 10 years so fairly fast growing fish um, but 10 years is still quite a long time so it is something we need to need to be aware of um, what else we got on them you're looking that very big eye very prominent they they are hunted for actively by spear fishermen um, because they are very good to eat similar they're in that karanga type uh, that grouping of karangas so that's with the kingfish they got a very very nice meat so it is something that is nice to take home but limit them they are a fairly rare catch when you get to the bigger sizes so look after them uh, take one for the pot every now and again if you want to but yeah otherwise just keep them put them back things like that now they're similar to um, your permit. Now permit is a very very popular name and a sort of fabled name in the uh, fly fishing world because they are that difficult to catch, that difficult to target. Permit hunt on the flats, they tail up um, and they look almost identical to our, to our southern pompano. They eat crabs, things like that, and that's where the large eye comes in. They're very very difficult to, to entice to take a fly. You've got to have very thin line and obviously with being a bigger fish, stronger fish, they're difficult to actually hook on that lighter line and not break off. So yeah. But anyway, yeah, South Africa, you're looking at summer species, one that you can target with pretty much natural baits. Mussels are going to be your best bet, uh, crackers, and then of course sea lice. Sea lice is like deadly, deadly bait for them. So in terms of targeting, you're looking sandbanks, uh, areas near rocky ledges, rocky leaf, uh, reefs and things like that. Um, areas with a bit of working water, with that very good vision they've got, you want that little bit of turbulence just to give you the advantage. Um, thinner line than you'd normally go for. Uh, try your fluorocarbons and things for your, your hook snoots just to give you that little bit of an edge on visibility. 
and then natural baits is the only way to go for them you're wanting sea lice you want crackers uh, pink prawn is a very good base as well as chocker to then add these baits onto and then mussels whether they're white mussels or your normal perna perna rock mussels so that plus your crabs and you're good to go so it's really a fish to target with your natural baits good job strong fighting beautiful fish nice to eat um, and a beautiful beautiful catch so yeah trekking notice africanus cheers